Okay, so jumping right into this look, I'm starting off with a lid primer. This one is from Smashbox. It is their photo finish lid primer. Applying that onto the entire lid and then just simply blending the product out with my clean ring finger. In order to set the lid primer in place, I'm going to be applying an eyeshadow over top of the entire lid area. So from lash line to brow bone, I'm applying Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek simply by using a bigger brush in order to get a larger area since I am going to be applying it onto the entire lid. This isn't only going to help set my lids with the primer, but it's also going to help with the blending process. The first eyeshadow that I'm going to be using for this actual smoky eye look is Jet Setter. This one is from the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm going to be using the Tartlet in Bloom palette for the entire eye look. So just applying this onto the crease using a blending brush. I believe this is a blending brush from one of my Anastasia palettes. It came with it and I actually really enjoy this blending brush side. Um, I think this is a dual end brush. Anyway, enough about the brush. Just applying that, buffing that into the crease, building up the color intensity as I'm wiping it back and forth along the crease in windshield wiping motions and I'm also going to mix those windshield wiping motions with circular motions so combining both of those in order to get a really nice seamless crease. The next eyeshadow that I'll be using for this look is Activist. Applying that using a smaller blending brush and really concentrating that product onto the entire crease in a rounded motion. So rounding out the crease in order to get more of a, of a round smoky eye rather than like a cat eye. Um, so yeah, just applying some of that onto that area and making sure that I don't go above the crease. And then what I'm gonna go back and do is grab the initial blending brush that I had and just blend blend everything out. And I do this in between applications. I always do it in order to build up the product without it looking really choppy or without it having like really obvious lines or without it being really hard to blend. I just blend in between applications. That way it's a lot easier. It looks a lot nicer and it blends out a lot, a lot better. Next, I'll be applying Smoke Show onto the entire mobile lid area using the same brush as the previous step, just making sure that I stay underneath that crease that I've created, that shade within that crease, and then going back with the original blending brush, the one that I've been using to blend everything out with, and just blending along the crease in order for it to completely stay seamless and without any lines. Now you can stop the look here or you can keep going like I did. I'm grabbing Rocker from the palette, which is a nice shimmery silver shade, applying some MAC Fix Plus onto my brush. If you don't have MAC Fix Plus, eye drops will do. It's a good substitute in order to wet your eyeshadows and so that they're a lot more metallic. And then applying that shade onto the entire mobile lid area. I know that I wanted it to be softer and I wanted to add a little bit of shimmer, not overdo it though. And this I thought was a perfect way of doing it because the silver really tones down that dark color underneath but it doesn't get rid of the smoky eye and then I went back with Jet Setter and my smaller blending brush. So applied a little bit of Jet Setter onto that brush and I'm just dragging it along the crease in order to blend in between eyeshadows so that everything looks nice and seamless and smoked out in order to color correct my under eye area, I'm going to be using this Pixie Color Corrector. This one is in the shade Awakening Apricot. Just applying a light layer of that using my ring finger before moving on to foundation. The one that I'll be using for today is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I happen to currently be in the shade Barcelona for this foundation. So just applying it onto the face using this nifty little brush that I received in my BoxyCharm box last month. It reminds me of an artiste brush and it applies foundation pretty darn well. So just applying that onto the entire face before moving on to concealer. For today's look, I decided, per usual, to go with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. So just applying that onto the under eye area before blending everything out using my damp Beauty Blender. And then, of course, you know I have to set the under eye area, so I'm going to be reaching for my RCMA No Color Powder. There truly isn't another powder like this, or at least I haven't tried one that's like this. Truly, truly inexpensive. You get a ton of product for the price, and it is so good. So just applying some of that onto the under eye area using the damp beauty blender as well. 
For brows today, I'm gonna be using two different products. The first one being this Cabrow from Benefit. This is just the sample size that I received a few weeks ago through one of my Sephora orders, but I just ordered the full size because I love it that much. I just fill in my brows using this cream gel and then I define them using my Brow Wiz from Anastasia. I'll have a full tutorial on that, a full brow tutorial on that next week. Thank you so much for the requests. So stay tuned for that. And then for mascara, I'm reaching for my Beauty For Real mascara, just adding a couple of really good coats onto them to make my lashes really pop. For my waterline, I'm taking this Endless Silky Eye Pen from Pixi and applying that only about halfway in from the outer part of the waterline. Then I'm taking my pencil brush, grabbing some Jet Setter eyeshadow with it, and then just applying that onto the entire lower lash line. And then simply finishing off the eye look by applying some mascara onto the bottom lashes. For bronzer today, I'm going with the Barest Bronzer from the Estee Edit. This one is in the shade Light Medium. Simply grabbing some of that product, applying it first onto the hollows of my cheeks, and then swirling the brush upward in order to really bronze up the outer perimeter of my face. For blush today, I decided to go with one of my all-time drugstore favorites. This one is Luminoso from Milani. It's one of their baked blushes. So just applying that onto the cheeks before moving on to another drugstore favorite. This is a Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Powder in the shade Precious Petals. <gasps> Man. Seriously, you have no idea how much I love these highlighters. They're so soft and so buttery, but yet they give such a punch of glow and just highlight. Like it's just really, really intense highlight, but they're not chunky. They're not glittery. They're not anything that's too overpowering. It just really looks, I don't want to say natural because it's definitely not natural, but it just looks really gorgeous on. I don't know. I love this. I love this highlighter so much. So just applying that onto the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, and chin, of course. I'm keeping the lips super simple by just applying some lip gloss. This one is from Beauty For Real in the shade Nudist. And then finishing everything off using some MAC Fix Plus. This isn't a setting spray. It's just meant to make your skin look more like skin with makeup on. And that completes the look. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this simple, soft, smoky eye tutorial. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video.